Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be analyzing Bitcoin, okay? I have advised my Telegram members yesterday, both public and VIP, um, to exit their altcoin positions, and, uh, and I'll show you why, okay? Not that it's going to be a bear market again, not to, to you know, create FUD or scare you guys out of your positions. There's, there's always going to be opportunities to buy cheaper. There's always going to be money to be made in the market, okay? Um, however, risk management is very key. It's a number one rule. Don't lose your capital, okay? Lose your profits, but don't lose your capital. Um, so I'm going to show you now why Bitcoin is starting to give me some uh, bearish sentiment. Um, yeah, so let's look at Bitcoin from the monthly chart. Um, first of all, if you guys don't know key resistance and support areas, I'll show you now. So anything around where you see majority of the consolidation happening here is a resistance. So we've got around 46,000 here in the month of August 2021. We've got major resistance. We've got major resistance again in September 2021. We broke bullish from it, but we could not contain it. Did not see enough follow through. We did break down, but then what happened? It started to become resistance. So support, when it becomes resistance, it's a bear trend, okay? What happened then is that we tried to get over it by January 2022, didn't work. We tried again by February 2022, didn't work. Tried again March 2022, didn't work. Tried again April 2022, didn't work. And we had a massive, massive crash because when you try to break through resistance and it's a very strong resistance and it does not work, what happens? You get rejection. Rejection is very huge when you try it multiple times. Uh, to break through the resistance and it doesn't work rejection will be heavy and it's red and we had we saw a massive drop down uh, around 64 percent on bitcoin okay so the whole entire year of 2022 um where it was was red so this is a very crucial level of resistance now we know okay now we can highlight that as a very crucial level of resistance now what happened here 2022 came down crashing down and we saw that it was negative we tried again by 2023, the first, uh, you know, beginning of uh, 2023, we started to see green, which was beautiful. And we saw a staker, staircase and pattern. So we saw Bitcoin go up a little bit, we came down and now we went up. What I can foresee us doing is having a, another uh, low, seeing another low to create a higher low. Where would that low be? That low B would be around here. Why? Because we saw support levels one, two, three, four, five. So that is consider cons uh, considerable um, key level of support, okay? Um, and also the other thing which I, which was my giveaway to be honest, more than anything else, was the candlesticks itself. So on, on the monthly chart, we had this month of January, 2024, we saw it to be green, which is good. However, we did not see a complete body. Why? Because we got the selling wick from the top. You see this wick here? It's called a selling wick from the top. So that means the, the bears are trying to push the price low on Bitcoin. Yes, the month of uh, the month of January 2024 has not finished yet. So there is potential for it to keep going up. However, with these selling wicks, I take that as an indication that bulls are becoming weaker and bears are becoming stronger. Okay, so look, for example, I'll show you here. Okay, let me give you an example. When we get something similar to this, right? Look at this, guys. We get wicks, wicks. From here, what happened? We got a drawdown. And if you did not sell from the very top to the bottom, you would have been a Bitcoin alone, 22% loss. And that means 70% probably in altcoins, okay? Because 22% loss on, on Bitcoin means 60, 70% in altcoins, okay? Same thing here. Look at this wick. It was a very strong wick from the top we means a selling wick from the top what happened here guys we got a massive drawdown okay if you see the the opposite happen if you see for example the wicks are from the bottom which is we call the buying wicks you can see here we got pressure coming from the bottom so that means the bulls are trying to push the price up a little bit which signifies that this is going to be key demand area so key level of p level or majority of the traders here are piling up and trying to accumulate more hence why we got this massive run up okay does that make sense let me actually change the line i forgot where it is but okay no i can't find it anyways i'm trying to get the arrow to shoot for you guys to see it better than how it is right now okay 
So right now, we're currently sitting at... It looks like a bull flag. It absolutely does. But this rejection alone gives me an indication that we are not out of the woods yet. Okay. And the other thing that we had a confluence or an agreement with is that this is actually a very strong resistance. 36,000 is very strong resistance. And what even confirms it even further than that is that on the 12 months, on the 12 months, look at this, guys. This is key resistance area. Okay. Why? Because in 2021, that was 20, 46,000 was key resistance. We could not go above it. In, 40, in 2022, the same thing, key resistance, and we sort of massive crash down. In 2023, we tried to get above it, but we couldn't. We failed. Okay. 2024 is trying to get over to 46,000, but it's, it's struggling right now. So until 46,000 is conquered, until we get this this green candle to go above 46,000, then we can go rest assured into altcoins, swinging them, and they will be more comfortable without having to fear those red massive days, okay? Yesterday was a crash day for us. It wasn't really a crash day, but it was a very massive um, and kind of um, very quick, sharp drop down. And you do, a lot of people would have been liquidated yesterday as well. So if you do want to really know when to get into altcoins, I would absolutely suggest two things. You've got two right now two strategies to do you either wait until bitcoin goes over forty six thousand and you buy or what you do is that wait for a direction of travel so wait for bitcoin to either show you where 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 its true face is okay if above forty six thousand, we get and we buy if it's below forty six thousand, we just wait for it to come down to retest the previous support which is around thirty two thousand, which is key level of support if it comes down to 40 uh, to thirty two thousand, we're good because then what happens later on from that is this. Come on, I know my trading view. It's this. We could come down here to test 32,000. We can go up, we make a higher low, but then we can form a, high, a lower high. And then we come down again and then we make a breakthrough, okay? That could potentially happen too. So what I can suggest for us to do is wait until a direction of travel is confirmed from Bitcoin, because getting into altcoins right now your own, even if it does go up and bounce, it's going to do a 10% move, uh, you know, 11% move, 8% uh, move, but you won't see that follow through. And we want follow through. Follow through means altcoins to continue to grow, not make a good 10% just to come back 10% again, or make another 8% up and then just to come back 8% down. You don't want to be in that situation. You want to, if you want to get in an altcoin position, you want to get into it because it's going to keep going. Okay. Otherwise, it's not worth it to get into. So I would absolutely suggest that we wait to see what happens. 46,000 needs to give us confirmation. Even if it's slow to form and altcoins start to pop out, at least, at least, let us see that we're going above at least 44,000. Even if it's not 46,000, at least let us see that we break bullish from this bull flag. Okay, then we can start to go in 10% in altcoins and then a little bit add more when price goes up even further for Bitcoin. And then you add more 10% here, 10% there. You keep adding, you keep adding. This is how you, you get into your, into your portfolio, into your altcoins without having to risk everything that you have. Okay, slowly but surely. So even if it does take forever to break over 46,000 and altcoins keep going up and you're thinking, damn, I'm missing out my perfect price. What we can do is start to scale back in at around 44,000. However, my, my personal stance is this. I need 100% confirmation. As a swing trader, you want to get into a position where you're 100% sure that altcoins are going to keep going up. Okay? So that is my two cents, guys. And what also confirms that we are going to come, come down to 32,000 is this. This is a rising wedge. Okay? This is not a bull flag, guys. If you, if you think of this as a bull flag, you're crazy. You're absolutely crazy. You don't know anything about TA. But this is a rising wedge, okay? Or whatever you want to call it, but a rising triangle. Now, what happens usually is that we like to test the upper trend line, which is what we've seen here in December 2023. We did test it. However, what I actually think is going to happen is that we're going to fail testing it and we're going to come down within the areas of this triangle. If we do come down to the areas of the triangle, then we will see another accumulation phase and we will start to go up again. And that's what I want to see for a healthy action. Because look at this, guys. Since the whole of 2022, December 2022, but let's just say the whole of 2023 we've just been going up 168 percent on bitcoin guys it's a lot 
you know we did have some you know consolidation corrections but it is a lot so we need a bigger correction to be able to confirm that 32,000 was very strong support and that we're good to go it's like basically you're trying to fly in an airplane and you want to go for a far distance you know the airplane crew or whoever it is needs to check that the gears are correct that they you know whatever they need to do that's the same thing they need to check that everything is good that so when you guys when they do fly nothing will happen in the interim it's exactly the same thing here they need we need to check that 32,000 or 33,000 is very good support system um, and then we can bounce off it once we bounce off it then we can say okay we are good to go into altcoins but if it doesn't then it's not worth you know getting in and I would absolutely suggest that we get out completely if 32,000 does not hold we're gonna come down to 25 and even come down to 16 I don't foresee that happening whatsoever I mean the potential of this happening I would say around 20% 10% only okay what I actually see will happen is that we will come down like I told you with my path come down to 32,000 we'll bounce up a little bit we'll struggle a little bit and then we'll come back up that is in the bear scenario in the bullish scenario we will hold this area of 40,000 or 42,000 we'll start to go sideways probably a little bit down towards 40 and then come on break above 46,000 okay anyways either way reserve your capital because you're, you're getting into altcoins when you don't know what's happening with Bitcoin and if you trade against Bitcoin guys you're always gonna lose bitcoin leads the market bitcoin always leads the market so whatever bitcoin says it's gonna happen it's the ruler of the kingdom so if bitcoin is gonna go up all coins go up if bitcoin is gonna go sideways all coins will go up if, if bitcoin goes down all coins will start to bleed and don't want to be in a position like that okay i hope that's clear enough and if you guys don't know what the hell you're doing i give my advice as always on telegram please join me on telegram it is you know it is pointed out in the description below you know you've got the tagline there you could just you know pop a message for me and i will respond back uh, and happy trading for everyone else take care ciao ciao